Let's seen, see it. Let's see it. Can we see it now? Let's see. <laughs> what is that? That's it's Garrett. It's Garrett. I don't that know if your like... nose is that big compared to the rest of your head. No, That's no, a little that bit of an exaggeration. Like from the Gooch. <laughs> I thought it looked. I, myself. I thought it looked like a boomerang that picked up a, Wait, a dust in, bunny. Is it in profile? Anyway. Oh, yeah. oh wow! What a start! What a beginning! Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Atlanta Brick Co. Store Tour live stream. We do these every Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for joining us today. We got a bunch of our friends in the chat. And I was reading the comments before I got on, and it sounded like a lot of us have kind of like, I don't know, Tuesday vibes. You know, like we're still a little bit hungover from Monday. And I can totally relate. And I want to let everyone know that you may be feeling a little bit off today. And that's okay. Not every day has to be perfect. You can have kind of a, a not so great day. And guess what? That's why we're here. So we can look around at all the cool Lego you can shop from at home. It's awesome. Huh? No countdown. Oh, the countdown didn't show up for you guys? Huh. Well, usually it shows up. Anyway. Is it live or is it Memorex? <laughs> no, we're here. We're live. Definitely. We're walking around looking at the cool Lego. There's Justin Morrison, Liam Brooks, Nexus to Zach, Michael, T Valkyrie, Gary. <laughs> I'm just off, period. Exactly. I, I hear you, Gary. Castle Top Shelf. Oh, you want to look at the Castle Top Shelf, is it? I think that one's actually gone already. Am I mistaken? Uh, Joe, is that castle already sold? What? Is that castle from the thumbnail already sold? Which castle? The castle? The one that was right there? Yeah, to move it. Where'd it go? The castle section, that's dumb. Why do we put the castle in the castle section? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Let's see, Morgan has joined. Good to see you, Morgan. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there's the castle on the top shelf. I think T Valkyrie wanted to have a look at this. I want to have a look at this so I can get it down without dropping anything. Here we go. Ah, all right. So this is a really cool set. I actually got this new back when it came out because I was on vacation in Florida and I needed some Lego to build while I was there. But uh, this is a great set. King's Castle, almost a thousand pieces. Has a very valuable horse barding and horse head armor there. I think it also has the Blue King. So a couple of good figures, good pieces. It's very expensive though. This is $650 new. So it has gone up six times its original retail value. And uh, we're going to put that back up there so it stays safe. Me today, Gary. had a, My last day of classes today, on to the finals. Exactly, Nexus. I know Jacob has just a few more finals things to take as well for his schooling. So hopefully everyone gets wrapped up and gets good grades. Hello, where are you? Oh, Lego building sets. We are at Atlanta Brick Co., one of the biggest and greatest Lego stores in the world. We have thousands and thousands of sets and minifigures and pieces for sale. <laughs> Patting ourselves on the back there, Dana. Is that what you meant to say? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right. But uh, yeah, so we got a bunch of great stuff. And you can visit us at atlbrick.com or you can tune into where you are now, which is our YouTube channel, and check out all the cool stuff we have here. So. Duda Bricks is talking about the new Dreams images show limb elements in medium blue. I mean, I'm excited about those Duda Bricks. Those are going to be pretty cool. I was very worried about the dreams theme but it turns out it's going to be pretty cool do you have a smog in stock so smog the terrible from lord of the rings smog i don't know how to pronounce that we i don't think we do right now but we'll double check on that zero emmy on youtube says i got a friend to go with me as soon as i have a date for orlando opening i'll make plans super excited to see the store yes orlando is going to be awesome emmy we're looking forward to it can't really watch today. Have a great tour. No worries, Morgan. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. We sure appreciate it. I finally got in there Saturday and bought the soccer field set that my wife and I have been playing with. It's been really fun. There you go, Sam Williamson. That is a great set. Yes, we're in Atlanta Lego building sets. So. <laughs> Mark beat me to the description. No worries, Brad B. I appreciate you writing stuff in the comments, too. Try again. Mark, why was I why was all I could find nothing but you and Steven on YouTube? 
Oh, I mean, we're on YouTube a little bit, uh, sometimes on our own channels or this channel or sometimes even the Lego Masters channel. I can see stuff from us there, too. Technically, Noonan, Georgia is soon to be adding a new location in Longwood, Florida. Exactly. Outside of Orlando. Can we look at Brick Lanta? I want to see if my fig is there. We can check Lemur Bricks. I don't think either Daniel or I have had a minute to spare to build any new figures for the city. But we'll double check and make sure. Is there someone who's waiting on one, Mark? I think Lemur Bricks is waiting on his figure. I haven't had a chance to build it, but... I don't remember seeing an email. I haven't sent it again. It might have gone directly to mine. That's why you might not have seen it, so... Okay. I haven't sent it to the info. Yeah. Nearby. If you want to, Lemur Bricks, you can send it to the info at atlbrick.com, and we can... Have either me or Daniel get a look at it when we can. So. But Brick Lamp is looking good. We just have a few little things to fix up and it'll be good. We've got a great idea for a new um, restaurant or a cafe that we're going to do. The name is so funny, it'll knock your socks off. I already forgot what it was. Oh man, you did? <laughs> I'll remind you later, Daniel. It's going to be a surprise. So. Mm hmm. We're in Orlando, in Longwood, Florida. So that's, I think that's on the north side of Orlando. So that's where the new location will be, Lego building sets. Here's Bricklore. Good afternoon, Bricklore. Hope you're having a great day so far. It was Lego Masters. That's right, Dan. There you go. Try to relax before exams. Then around two or three days, uh, three or four days before them, I do a little brush-ups on the main things, then the small things. There you go, Justin. That's how you got to do it. We do not wish to lose any viewers, but can you do a search on atlbrick.com for just about anything in the store? Exactly. Mark, I love the tour of your Lego studio. I'm super jealous of it. Really awesome and clean. Oh, thank you, Sam. Yeah, that's on my other my channel, not the store channel here. Um, I don't think we have any links to it, but if you look up Mark of Falworth, you can find it. So. Built modulars, please. We can look at those, Grumpy J. That's a good request. Do a search for Hourglass Brewery, and it's going to be right next door to that building. Exactly. That's the easiest way to find it right now. Thank you for that comment, Brad P. You got a couple of built police stations here. I think this is a dual combo set here. Got an assembly square here, too. And I think this is a newly reacquired set here, the Town Hall. For $1,000, this could be yours, but 20% off because of all built sets being on sale. Got the Parisian restaurant here, too. A bookshop over here. And these, unfortunately, are sold. But these, this uh, Ghostbusters firehouse is still here. That looks pretty cool. Got a couple of corner garages over here. Do you have any techno blades from Ninjago in stock yet? I will ask about that, Zero, because I don't know specifically what those are yet. I didn't research it afterwards last time. Ed says no problem for an hour. There you go. T Velker says show up the punk rockers from this morning. I bought one already. Oh, we can do that, T Velker. That's a great. Great request there. We'll check that out. Parking spaces, exactly. All right, Mark, you know my request. Any Pharaoh's quests come in? Let's check on that, and then we'll go get some punk rockers. Oh, there we go. It's walking out the door. New sealed. That's it. Thank you very much. Enjoy. That is a good one. That's one of the biggest modulars you can get. Let's see here. Nope, no Pharaoh's quest. Sorry, Nexus. We never see Ferris Quest anymore. I really wish someone would trade it in. Hint, hint. We'll see if anyone actually does so, but we'll see. Oh, a new addition from to this morning is the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. We got this set here. We also have another medieval blacksmith shop. So if anyone's looking for those, we've got them now. Let's go look at the punk rockers in the back here and see if we can check them out. Joe, how is it like building 100 punk rock minifigures in... 20 minutes. Uh, you know, it's the average day for me. Yeah, exactly. Daniel was so far behind, he couldn't even breathe hardly. Like, he was struggling. He was gasping for air. Oh, no, Garrett. Garrett was having a great time. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> oh, man. It was a great time, though, I would say. 
let's go see if we can find those figures back here in the minifigure area. How's it going, guys? Hello. Doing pretty good. I think they're over here in the back corner. Sorry to disturb you, Kenji. We're looking for the punk rocker minifigs. Here they are. Here they are. Right where I thought they'd be. So here is a bag of completed punk rocker minifigures. I think there's roughly 300 here. And these were all built during a video which we just posted this morning. And uh, Joe, Daniel, and Garrett were all racing to complete as many as possible with various uh, difficulties and uh, distractions thrown at them. It was really chaotic and really fun. So if you haven't checked that out, do so. These figures are for sale on the website. I think if you look up punk rocker, you should be able to find them or rock star, some of those keywords. Uh, try searching there and you can get your own. I think they're actually a pretty good deal because they don't have the accessory, if I'm not mistaken. So, But yeah. Very cool. Mr. Bucket says, The Medieval Blacksmith is an amazing set. It's my favorite set to build right now um, as far as size, price, details, techniques. It's really good. Happy to have another one back in the store for sale. Mark, did you see the new friend sets? I can already see a new Hard Lake City drama episode. Me too, Lima Brooks. I'm going to be broke, I think. We just got a few more in just recently. These are from the last wave, and they're pretty great. So we're already going to have to get a few. Henry the Horse says, that friend's botanical garden looks great. Yes. And the dream sets look pretty cool. Yeah, there's some really good Lego sets coming out here soon. No, talking about that to tomorrow, says Daniel. Yes, and Daniel's right. I, exactly. Me and Garrett saw the Mari movie last night, and he said how there was should be a set of Peaches 64 Castle. Now I'm desperate to have it be so. Exactly. So do you think uh, Peaches Castle would be a good set, Garrett? They have to do Peaches Castle. Well, I know they have one. They have a set, but it's kind of like a facade. It's not like a full arm. We're not talking electronic Mario. Get that stuff out of here. Mm -hmm. We need like a size of Rivendell 6,000 piece, piece Peaches Castle. UCS from, version. Yeah. 64 version. 64 version. Right. There you that. go. Yeah. That yeah. sounds pretty cool. This is Daniel's favorite set. We just got in in that hall. Yeah. We haven't even priced it yet. No price tags. It's brand new, fresh well, in that hall. <laughs> and if somebody, there's two of them here. Yeah. Uh, you could buy one for yourself mm -hmm. and buy one for Daniel, your BFF. Or you just buy one and Daniel will sign it for you. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. will sign his name on that box for you. So and you and Daniel could build these together online. Yep. That's not a or Is that a Joy of Building size set? Yeah. The, this would definitely make a good episode on the Joy of Building. You would uh, have to build it a little bit slowly. Daniel, the special guest. Though. And thoroughly. Yeah. That'd be amazing. We'll uh, we'll talk to Daniel about that. That's great. What do you think about that, Daniel? I think that'd be a good idea. There's no guarantee that that'll happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we're distracting Daniel from working, so we'll, we'll keep uh, keep moving here. You can see a real one with the paintings inside. There you go. Poor Mark already broke. That is correct, Nexus to Zach. I am I, especially with all these new releases coming out. Let's see. Right. Da -da 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 -da. I'll wait for a Hyrule Castle, Garrett. There you go, Nexus. That would be a good set, too. Speaking of good sets, we also got the uh, 1989 Batmobile up there, so that's a nice one. Oh, it's Vogan. He's making a call. He's a man of business. All right. We've got uh, Disney Castle up there, too. That is really nice. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody's dropping banners on the stream. Don't forget to like the video. Yes, please like the video if you haven't already. But uh, somebody <laughs> having a lunch break over by where my, my stream computer's running. <laughs> so Joe's having a good time doing that. That's good. It's kind of late for a lunch break, Joe. Three's a little bit late in the afternoon. Hyrule Castle is such a good idea. He, Emmy likes that idea. That's for sure. There's also, you got a crater corner garage up there. That's a nice one. You got the Viking chest that is still there. I might have to go get that one. Let's go. Daddy Daughter Burks asks, any animals in stock? We can go look at those. It's a good good request. Mandalorian, another, another good request from Lego Building Sets. We can check that out. And Connor also asked about 
Lego Ninjago Snake Generals. We can look for those. Animals are right here, though, so we'll look at those first. We got a bunch of sharks, alligators, octopuses, stingrays, penguins, elephants, lions, big cats, camels, bears, anglerfish, dolphins, chameleons, monkeys, owls, dragons, T Rexes, clams, ants, snakes, lots of snakes, bats, scorpions of every color. Got a bunch of mice, skeletal horses, regular horses, horses that lean back on two legs. Got pigs, chickens, cows, dogs, baby raptors of all sorts of colors, dragons, and a bunch of other animals here too. And those are all on our website, atlbrick.com. So you can head there and buy them right away, or you can come to our store and buy them here. So. 41 viewers and only 22 likes. That's, that's a sad statistic there, Emmy. Maybe someone will be, oh, look, these are cool. When did we get these in? I don't know. That's I nice. Know. Yeah, that is. Let's see, Emperor's Throne Room. Some cool sets coming in. Sure, that's no problem. Yes, yes, I want to. Okay, perfect. Let's see here. Still no Friends Beatles. Wait a minute, no, no friends beetles? What are we talking about? Like a friends figure beetles figure? Or that, that's interesting. Oh, still no friends beetles. Oh, the little piece. The little beetle piece. Yeah, we, we might have to look for those. Um, what were the other requests? We had animals. We had... Uh, the Mandalorians and Lego Ninjago Snake Generals. Snake Generals are going to be over here. So we'll look for those first. I see only two in stock right now. We've got this green guy right here. He's pretty cool. He is $70. Then you have Pythor over here. I do know Pythor. And he's $40. And that looks like most of the Snake Generals we have in stock right now. However, if you check online, we might have more that are in the back that aren't visible right now that you can look up later, too. So, Mark, have you seen the new LEGO City Arctic set with the Orca animal mold? Yes, Connor. I've seen the pictures. We'll talk about it tomorrow, too. But it looks really good. A lot of things to look forward to, for sure. <laughs> Punk Rock Minifigures video, very funny. Oh, thank you, LEGO Building Sets. I'm glad you like it. We're looking at some Mandalorian armored figures here now. Got Gar Saxon, you got the Armorer. You got Boba Fett, lots of him. Got some Django Fetts over here, too. You got uh, Paz, Fizzla. No, 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 no. Uh, pre Vizsla, pre Vizsla. Pause Vizsla is the other one that from the new show. Uh, you got a Mandalorian Death Watch there too. So, we also got a bunch of Stormtroopers. Looks like these are mostly restocked. So, lots of Star Wars going on right now. This is a nice, filled, colorful section here. I think Grant was working on Star Wars figures recently because they're very, very well stocked. Let's see, Monster Fighters. We can look for some Monster Fighters here. Brad P. giving us a nice request for likes. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you like Lego content. Thank you so much for the comment, Brad P. We appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, uh, Monster Fighters. They're going to be on the other side of the store here, but they're just a quick walk away. And then we'll go look for, I think, the final request that was made... No, that was it. Those are the three that we were going to work on. Customer up here. Need to reach the top shelf there, Maddie. You got it? Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. So we've got Hidden Side down here, which is much less popular than Monster Fighters up here. And there's a couple sets that are associated with Monster Fighters, a couple sets that are... No, this is all Monster Fighters on the top shelf, I think. Yeah. I'm back. Fun fact. Stephanie is somehow the mayor of Heart Lake City in the summer wave. What? That's pretty amazing. I'll have to check that out. That's pretty cool story development there. Yeah. If you want to expand your monster fighters uh, scene, but you've already got all of them, or if you can't afford them because they're a little older and expensive, Hidden Side works pretty well. All these vehicles... Uh, scenery, these sets are really good for that genre. 
You just need a little bit of a uh, modification here and there. So. All righty. Any other further Lego requests? Otherwise, we can just look right at all the cool stuff. Did you see the new Space Coaster that got revealed today? If so, what's your thoughts? I think it looks cool. It reminds me very much of the Pirate roller coaster they did a little while ago, but with dark blue tracks. So that's exciting to see, and we'll talk more about it on our news show tomorrow morning, too. We didn't have to talk about news. That's everything. <laughs> I've mostly just been saying I like it. I think it looks good. So nothing too uh, specific there. Do you have the giant green T-Rex from Lego Dino? If you do, would you take a deal for it? Instead of 70, would you take a little lower? Uh, normally, we don't uh, you know, negotiate on prices on the website. They're priced pretty accurately, we think, compared to going rates of uh, items. So probably not uh, zero. At least it wasn't Emma. Yeah, if Emma was mayor of Heart Lake City, that would be pretty terrible. Actually... That's uh, one of the plots of an upcoming episode of Heart Lake City Drama, according to my uh, episode list that I've developed. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Mark, did you get anything for May the 4th? No, I did not, Johnny Flounder. I, uh, I slept in, so I didn't get anything. And I don't think I had anything like super urgent on my list either. Just kind of expecting it to show up to the store eventually. So wasn't too bad, so. Hello, hello from Nimal and Mani Raj. Good to see you both. Thank you for joining us. I waited over an hour in freezing rain to get into the new bricks and minifigs that opens in my home state. There you go, Connor. That's a long wait. Sam Williamson dropping the Daniel emoji. I think Daniel has one of the most characteristic emojis in our inventory because he, he just looks like he's going oh you got the bonsai tree over here if you ever feel like complimenting or insulting someone at the same time you just say you're a retail bonsai tree inside joke here at atlanta brico you've also got the wildflower bouquet right here this has some amazing pieces so that's a good set a lot of good sets just came in recently so. Zap says, hello. Good to see you, Zap. Thank you for joining us. I'm abbreviating your name because I don't know how to pronounce it. So. I did not go, but can you imagine what it was like at Disney Springs Lego store? Oh, for May the 4th? That would have been insane. It was, must have been like a mob of people. I just posted a video on the bonsai tree. I hope they do a botanical. A retail bonsai tree. That's right. I was just explaining that inside joke to people. I'm like, if you want to insult slash compliment someone, you say, you're a retail bonsai tree. Exactly. I think that, who is it? Fazoom? Sort of that Fazoom and Joe, I, I think. think so. Yeah. That's funny. All right. It hasn't left the store yet. Nope. And we got some more sets that have arrived over here. Looking pretty good. Oh, one good one is this sealed camper van that we got. Because this is an older set. Let's see what year this is. Probably 2011, 2015. So... Very cool, harder to find, and will be online soon, I'm sure. So. Do you have the 2023 Heart Lake Downtown Diner? Uh, let me check here. There's the hair salon. I thought we had the diner. Hold on. I was just talking about it with Vogue the other day because it was right here, I think. Maybe I'm going nuts. Nope, that's the grocery store. <gasps> here we go. Heart Lake Downtown Diner. Here it is. It includes Aaliyah, Leanne, and Charlie. Has a very cool pieces. Looks like a giant sub sandwich up there. But do they have a deep fryer in there? It looks like it's mostly salads. And you can rotate the jukebox. That's interesting. At first I thought she was trying to get, get items out of the vending machine by tilting it oh <laughs> uh, no you got an arcade in there too so pretty cool set i do like the um the coral bench padding or seat padding so that looks pretty cool so. there you go and that one is priced at retail price for 40 dollars. so you can get one of those if you're interested it should be on our website too john johnny flounder are you you are one tough cookie to wait in that line oh my goodness do you have uh, Invisible? 
from Ultra Agents. I can check. Well, Daniel wouldn't know. I'll have to ask Joe. Oh, we do we have Invisible from uh, Ultra Agents? Um, I know what. You can check. He's the guy that's uh, invisible. Yes, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's him. But... That's that's correct. Do you have any Bricklink designer sets? We do, Caden. We got a couple of them, I think. Yeah, I don't see him. Okay, so he's not over here with some of the Ultra Agent stuff that we have. But maybe he's over by Ninjago. We'll check on that. Sometimes he gets stuck in there because he was in a Ninjago uh, character, too. He was a crossover. I don't see him. Sometimes you can see him over here. I think we're, he's turned invisible and we can no longer see him. All right. Let's look at Bricklink designer sets really quick for Caden. I need a Heart Lake City drop, drama episode on that set. That would be a good one, Leroy Bricks. Oh, no, he's there. He's just invisible. Oh, yeah, that's right, Lemur Bricks. Let's see. I think we have at least one Bricklink designer set left. A lot of them have already sold. <coughs> so there's that one there. It's the Le modular Lego store designed by Krisnow. Krisnow? Krisnow? Yeah, so that's a cool one. Seen it built. It looks really nice. So we got one of those over there. I'm not sure the price. We can go check on it because I'm the only one back here. Let's see. What amazes me is that Disney stores themselves sell no Lego whatsoever. That could be a missed opportunity, Brad P. $600 for this one. So it's a pretty penny, but it's very nice. Malastair is not here today. Doesn't look like Nexus to Zach, but you know, we'll, we'll carry on without him. He'll probably catch it up. Catch up with it later. Rewatch it. Yeah. With me, everybody. I decided to try parting the Lego modular store together. I think it'll be cheaper, and I found custom stickers. There you go. That's a so for some older rare sets, it's actually very easy to part out. Some of them are very hard, so it doesn't work for every set, but sometimes, you know, using BrickLink or other sites to get pieces individually is a great way to complete old sets. Israel on Facebook says, hello, greetings from Tijana, I believe I pronounced that correctly. Right now I'm working in a small independent Lego store. There you go. Thanks for joining us, Israel. Hope you're having a great day. Got some Exoforce over here. It's pretty cool looking. Ooh, a Lego Boost. So I had to use Lego Boost on Lego Masters, and that was pretty difficult. However, once you got the hang of it, it was it was pretty useful, pretty um, pretty fun. You got had a lot of options. So highly recommended if people want to get some more action in their creations. Loving the military stuff. Oh, thanks, Lego Building Sets. We have a bunch of it. So. How the Grump is everyone today? There you go. Jo uh, Joshua Clark, a a aka Grumpy J, is on Facebook now, too. He can be grumpy on both platforms, thanks to our streaming software. So. Well, let's see. What are some other sets that we can look at here? We've got some friends sets over here. The cafe is still in stock. So if anyone missed it earlier, $60 here. That seems like a pretty good deal for a bunch of great figures. You got another office set over here. You got the Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft here as well. You got the Lego Ideas um, Dinosaur Museum set. Some Winter Village stuff. The Bigger Friends Apartments set. That's pretty cool. The new Lego Ninjago sets have just leaked. Oh, really? I'm glad they leaked before tomorrow morning for our news show, so we'll be able to talk about them in detail. We'll check them out there. I'm hoping I pronounced your name right. Glenn, is that right? We'll check them out, Glenn. Thank you. Keith says, I'm in Atlanta working, but I'm looking for an old set. It's the original airport set. Do you all have that? I can look for it, Keith. I don't think we have that particular one in stock right now, but we usually have a couple old city sets 
hanging around in the city section. I like to troll as much as possible. Insert evil laugh. Exactly, Grumpy J. We love it. Let's see. A bunch of space shuttles, dump trucks, police cars, fire trucks, camper vans, space launch centers. Don't see the classic airport sets, though. Monster trucks, more police stuff. Looks like a bank heist here. Let's see. Well, there's an air old airport set. That's definitely one. It's got the old plane. It looks like part of a runway and the airports there, too. Wait, I want this motorcycle. So that one's 200 plus 20% off. So pretty cool. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. How much is this motorcycle? 20 plus 20%. Can I get That's it? Really? That's the one, Keith? We have it here. And it's 20% off like all build sets are right now. So you might have to give our store a call. All the links are in the description if you're interested. I don't think that one is listed on our website. Most of the build sets aren't. So. I had that when I was growing up. There you go, Keith. That's awesome. You can go get another look at it if that's the one you, you were looking for. Happy birthday, Will Lamb. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday, Will Lamb. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, and if this is the one with the yellow building and the red and white plane, that's pretty cool. Looks like all the figures are in pretty good shape. The one guy with the blue um, torso is a little bit faded, but not too bad. So pretty cool, Keith. Cool that we had that specific one you were looking for. Everybody wishing Will M happy birthday. There you go. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, there's another old city set over here. You got the uh, got the little backhoe and dump truck there. Pretty nice. <laughs> Darn it, I'm late again. No worries, Brick Mom VA. If you show up at all, we certainly appreciate it. Oh, there's a blue coat uh, fortress back there. That's pretty nice. I'll come by there Wednesday. There you go. Hopefully, see you then, Keith. Western, please. Well, let's see. We got one Western set and a handful of Western figures, as usual, Will Lamb. Got the bank building built, 20% off of $50. And you've got a couple Western figures down here. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of red coat guys there. All $11.99. So, very nice. But, yeah, got a couple um, Western figures in the front row here. Or the third row from the front here. My childhood dreams are coming back to life. There you go, Keith. That's awesome. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice one, too. That uh, Forrester's Treehouse right there. 260 for a certified pre-owned. That box is in pretty good shape, too. Man, that's awesome. I love the old pirates. Forrestman! Exactly, Mr. Buckets. Those are some of my favorites. Oh. Brad P says, hey, look, not only Grumpy, Jay lurks here, but I can too. There you go. He's on Facebook as well. Redcoats have invaded. Oh, yes, they did. I don't know how we got so many of them. Must have gotten some recently. Good thing Malister isn't here to see this. Yes, he would be uh, in pain at this point. So. We were talking about dinosaurs earlier. We can look at some of these. I think they've been restocked. I'm guessing Randy was over here working on these. I love the Forceman promo set that came out about a year ago. So cool they did that. Yes, the Forceman's or Forced Guardian's Hideout or Forced Hideout. Was it just Forced Hideout? It's a good set. Anyway, got a couple of those back then and it was very good. We still have some if anyone's interested. I think they're $60. So. You guys have any used Indiana Jones sets? I think we have one, Derek. We can go look at that. Yeah, lots of Lego dinosaurs all on our website, atlbrick.com. Oh, there's a nice uh, downtown diner set there, too. And another bookshop. Let's go look for Indiana Jones here for Derek. Bowser, wow. Oh, yes, we love the Bowser. It was a cool set before the movie, but now it's a really cool set. You know what I'm saying? 
just made it much more iconic looking. But here's one used Indiana Jones set. It's the uh, newer Well of Souls, and it's $35. It is unfortunately missing the few figures that come with it, so it's just the build. But if you wanted to, say, expand the one that you already have, and you wanted to add another side to it or like have an um, angle, it would work perfectly. It's got the, all the pieces and all the snakes, too. So nice build. 20% off of $35 is your total price for that. So keep an eye out for it. Do you think we will ever get proper minifigs for Mario stuff? That's hard to say, Mr. Buckus. I sure would like that. I like the Mario movie. I would be willing to get some Lego Mario and Luigi and Peach and Bowser minifigs. However, they seem pretty happy with the, uh, the play features of the little video game Mario. I know it's pretty successful because they keep making more of them. But uh, I wish they had made a regular Mario minifigure like that, not like that. So... We'll see. Come on, guys. One more like. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you guys think we'll ever get a proper... Oh, wait, I got the question already. Let's see. Mark, did you sign the Nexo fig? I didn't sign the figure yet, but I could sign a piece of paper to go on it. Or I could sign the figure itself. What? Apparently, Willem wanted me to sign the Nexo fig. I didn't get that memo, but we can... Was it the one from the dry belt? I think it was. I think that already shipped out. Already shipped out? Okay. That's too late for that one. There wasn't anything to sign. It's a very small figure. Yeah. It's even like you could typically actually sign a minifigure's torso, but that didn't even have that. It's like yeah. a one by one tile. I don't think I could even get a signature there. So. No, was it we, the, like, the bots? Yeah, it was a little bot. Yeah. Well, we can get you a uh, um, like, like Mark Erickson card if you want. All right, all right, all right. Next to nights, next to nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. 43 likes. Okay, okay, okay. We're going over there. You set this up here. All right, can everybody see me? There we go. Gotta get this this piece of armor. Armor. It goes pretty well in the black shirt, I will say. There we go. Ready to fight. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Let's turn this back around here. <laughs> Hashtag armor up. There we go. And so for those who don't know, once we reach 40 likes on our YouTube channel live stream, I have to put on the next night armor to protect me from magical attacks. <laughs> so it's a tradition, you know, you got to keep it up. So, All right. Who is the police chief of Brick Atlanta? Um, I think that's Brad P, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Here. Do we have any police people in Brooklanta? Yeah, I think that's Brad P, and Dawson is the chief lieutenant there. So, Mark, it's Morphin time. It's it's Nexo time. Oh yes, I'm headed headed to security in Brooklanta. Exactly. Curious how Emmy feels about the inclusion of Mario in the Donkey Kong sets. That's a good question. We can we can go back and ask her. Oh, she's right there. Emmy, we got a question for you on the live stream. How do you feel about the inclusion of Mario in the Donkey Kong sets? Well, Mario was in the Donkey Kong game. Yeah. So that would make sense. Okay, so Emmy says it would make sense. Good to know. So. I'm like, hey, Joe, come on. Man, it's bright in here. We, we replaced the light bulbs. I'm not going to look directly at them with the stream. I don't want to blind anyone. But it's bright over here. What was that? <laughs> don't look in the light. <laughs> I'll try not to, Daniel. I know you said it's not good looking at the sun or light bulbs or things like that. So. I might get you some of those eclipse sunlight. <laughs> and I'll just, really, really dark I'll just wear them all the time to be safe. So, yeah, I'll trip and fall over and stuff as usual. All right. Trash armor. Oh no, William. Well, I I've actually grown to like it a little bit. It keeps me warm, uh, and safe. No one tries to bother me or talk to me while I'm wearing it, so it's great. Ed is mayor. Cesar for life. There you go. Exactly. 
Yeah, Ed is the mayor of Bricklanta, that's for sure. He's always rerunning because he's been mayor for many, many terms. I don't know if there's a law against how many times you can run for mayor, but Ed has probably stopped that law already. So, Grumpy Jay and myself are head of security at UBC. Exactly. They'll be covering the detail for uh, the uh, OBC opening when, whenever that happens. We're guessing June, but hopefully then. So. Let's see. Ooh. We were talking about this earlier, but we've got the Forest Hideout. That's the name of it. Forest Hideout. We got it right here. $60. I might have to get another one of these. These are really nice. The figures are just so good. We also have the Blacktron Cruiser, another fantastic set. This one goes really nicely with the Galaxy Explorer. This one is 60. Galaxy Explorer typically retails for 100, I believe. So. All right, we've got about 20 minutes left on the stream, so we have plenty of time to walk around and look at stuff. If anyone has any requests, now is the time. So that's a cool little set. Absolutely. That's, that was my opinion as well. So. We haven't checked out the Star Wars section. We might have to head over there and see what we got. Let's go look at it here. Excuse me. So we looked at the Star Wars figures briefly. We can look at the rest of the sets here too. And Connor Hoffman is also asking for Lego City sets, which we can look at. So. Remember, Mark. <laughs> Let's see. So we got an ATTE Walker. This is one that I actually need to get. It's on my list because I really want that Commander Cody figure. And obviously, the two twelfth Clone Troopers are good too. I think you got at least three of them here. Got the ATTE, another good set. This is actually a nice scale and a nice build for the price, I think. So, Inquisitor Transport Scythe has some amazing characters from the Obi Wan series. Oh, and this is a new addition. So, if you missed out on the Cantina, the UCS version, we've got a new sealed one here. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, a bunch of good sets. We'll probably pan through over to Lego City for Connor Hoffman. Mark, do you guys have a built ATTE just the walker? We can check here. We've had them in the past, but I don't know if we have any right now. I see a couple Razor Chris. There's a Bad Batch shuttle over there. Let's see here. I don't see any right now, Grumpy Jay, unfortunately. Love the Moss, Moss Isley Cantina. That is a good one, Mr. Buckets. It's a killer set to build. So many awesome figs, and the Dewback Rider is amazing. Agreed. Is Pastor Michael in today? He is not. He will not be in today. I think he's in Thursday and Friday, but I'm not sure. Yes. So check on that one. And he built BD1 Sue. Oh, we can look at that. Let's see. So I don't see any BD ones right now. We did have a built Baby Yoda and built normal Yoda too. There's Corey Philbrook joining. Hey, like and subscribe really helps with the channel. And if you're financially able, join and get that cool logo next to your name. Exactly, our memberships program starts at 99 cents a month. If you can't afford that, I feel sorry for you. Almost anybody can get together 99 cents in 30 days. So. What any Jones minifigures does the store have? That's a good question. Let's look at Lego City since I got all the way over here really quick. And then we can go over and check out any Jones. So. so this is a new addition, I think. The Lego City construction site. This is pretty cool. I think this is... Uh, Two hundred dollars, so pretty pricey for a city set, but it is pretty huge, and it is from two thousand nine, so it's older. Very nice build. Got a bunch of, I think this is the Mountain Police Station, Forest Police Station. Close enough, you get the idea. I found red coats in my collection while sorting. There you go, Corey. Looks like you are a de facto red coat now. So you got the garage. 
It's not a city garage. It's just a garage. And that is three hundred dollars. Wow. Another two thousand nine classic Lego city set. I don't think they uh, they've made any sets like that size in a while. It's pretty cool. Better a pent Corey, or else Malister will get you. Exactly. <laughs> Brad P, what color do we get after one year, Mark? I'm going to take no answer as a no then. Uh-oh, did I miss your comment, Sarah? Where was your comment? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not not right now. Sorry about that. Let's see. Got to go, y'all. We'll see you, Will Lamb. Take care. But yeah, so, yeah. Um, Corey, unfortunately, I think you're a red coat now, and Malister's going to get you. And then we're looking for used Indiana Jones, well, not used Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones minifigures, and those are usually listed as new, so. Put a minion on Daniel's desk. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of requests to check out Daniel's desk. We can go do that really quick, too. We still have about 15 minutes. Let's see. We've got actually quite a few Indiana Jones figures here. It looks like they've been restocked. You got some of the Cairo guys. You got uh, some of the Nazi soldiers. Unfortunately, that's what they're called. German soldiers, I think is what Lego called them. Let's see, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you, Ant Bandit. Thank you for joining us. What space sets are there? There's quite a few of them, Scott. So. Do you have monster fighter figures? We do. They're over in the, uh, they're to my right for a little ways, but we can head over there and look at them really quick. Wanted to do that, and Joe was like, no, you can't. Uh, <laughs> so actually, they glued a figure to my desk, so I don't know why we can't glue a figure to Daniel's desk. I mean, that seems only fair. But yeah, let's go look at monster fighter figures really quick, then we can go check out Daniel's desk. So we'll have a golden brick. Sweet. No gray suit, Dr. Jones. I didn't see him over there, Nexus. It looked like we had quite a few other ones, though. So here's our monster fighter figures. They're pretty cool. Looks like mostly the monsters, a couple of the heroes that fight them as well. Very cool. You can find those on atlbrick.com. Let's see if we can check out Daniel's desk without him finding out. Oh. What, what, where are you going there, Mark? No, nowhere, nowhere. Good. Excuse me, everybody. Yeah, just, just go into the back really quick. Just check oh, out some stuff. Yeah, yeah what, what kind of stuff are you looking for? Yeah, we're just, just looking. Can help you find? No, no, we're just looking over there no? really quick. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna head that way. Excuse me, sorry. Okay. Yeah. So. So this is Daniel's desk. He's got all his stuff here. Oh, is this Daniel's desk? Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. We're messing it up. Oh, there you go. Look, a quarter. Does anybody want to make a phone call? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's looking up Ice Planet Astronauts. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got treasure. Mm-hmm. That's his desk. Stone. Yep. If only we could glue a minifigure to his desk. Apparently that doesn't happen anymore. We needed to glue a few minions to his desk and... uh only seems right. Yeah, that happened to me. What, I mean, what I'm did just you saying. Go look at? What was going on? Oh, there was many people asking me to check out Daniel's desk and or glue a minion to his desk. So I don't think I have time to glue anything today, but no, you have maybe later. later. Maybe later. Mark has to mentally prepare for the morning break. <laughs> exactly. That's a lot. We got to gather all those pictures and upload them. Yeah. For like three hours. There is some massive leaks going on. So, so tune in at mm -hmm. 9 tomorrow morning. Yep, Dennis did put up a fight too. Mark had to flick him twice, exactly. He interrupted my finger one time, then it just, pow, got him the second time. Actually, we've got the, the materials, Joe. We're ready. Is that the wooden minifigure glued to that desk? You know, I think there was just sitting, one that was sitting over there, but... uh. We have another one up there. I think he's gone up a little bit in price. He's right over here. Let's go look at him. Oh, and Diana wants to see Harry Potter. We can go look at that. I'll pay to have the minifigure glued to that desk. Oh, hey, we might be able to work something out next. So here's the wooden minifigure that Daniel had 
near his desk. I think he's actually pulling one out to buy. That's why it's over here, as well as a uh, octopus looks like. So. Soon to be in Daniel's collection. Yeah. All right, let's go look at. Uh, did Joe enjoy his box? Yes, Grumpy Joe. You need to check out one of our members only videos. It's the uh, one where Joe opens up his birthday gift. It's really funny. So. I got a very nice Excuse me, everybody. Yes, he loves his present. So. Daniel is doing his research slash homework for the morning brick, and Joe will just look over his shoulder tomorrow to steal his research. <laughs> that you know what? Unfortunately, Brick Bombier, that is kind of true. That's usually whoever else is there is. I I often will check on Daniel's list too, just while he's reading it, and be like, "Oh, that's a good item. I didn't know that." So that's for sure. All right, Harry Potter section. Here we are. I'll supply the crazy glue. All right, we got it. We got a, a plan here, Gary. Oh, and Robert is here on Facebook. Good to see you, Robert. Thank you for joining us. Was the octopus from Aquazone? No, that uh, that that kind of glow-in-the-dark blue one was actually from Ultra Agents, I believe. Or Agents. One of the two. I'm kind of not sure. But it was one, uh, from a secret agent theme, not from Aquazone. Surprisingly, because I think it would have made perfect sense in the Aquazone theme. So. Yeah, lots of Harry Potter figures available. I think it's one of the sets, uh, the set themes we have, one of the most large and diverse cast of characters to choose from. So, Alter Agents is next. Yeah, that sounds right. So. Lots of built sets, all 20% off too. You got uh, a lot of buildings, vehicles, builds, all sorts of stuff. So if you haven't checked out our Harry Potter stuff, do so. We've got tons of it. We even got a bunch of the older ones too. We've had a couple of these traded into us recently, and they're really nice. Uh, me, Daniel, and Justin did a pretty pretty thorough between the studs on all of these. You can go watch that after the stream if you want. So. Thanks for all the best customer service in any store this past Saturday. Oh, there you go, Robert. I hope you had a good uh, tour of the store. Got to see all the cool Lego stuff and maybe get something, too. Look, it's Mark's best friend, Dobby. Oh, Speaking of Dobby, you'll want to be here Wednesday morning uh, because we'll be talking all about how cursed Dobby looks. I, I think we did a little bit earlier because we could just barely see a fuzzy picture of him, but he doesn't look nearly as good as Hedwig over here. So. All righty, we got a few minutes left. Got some time to talk about sets or check out any themes that are, we're looking for. Here's a Brickling Designer program set on a Mills plate. So that's kind of interesting, this giant crane. I think me and Joe did a quick video on this not too long ago. It's very cool. So, He does not. Oh, no. Do you like the new Dobby figure, Diana? Because it looks a little bit worrisome to me. Just saying. Maybe it'll look better built. I know some of them look better built. So, Sorry, I bonked the screen there, guys. Got a Galaxy Explorer here. Highly recommended set. I think it looks amazing. So if I can get it back without dropping it. There you go. Ugh. There you go. Any new classic space sets? I don't think we have any new ones. But we can check. I have uh, Scott asking to go to the space section too. Now that we're talking about Galaxy Explorers, we got to go look at them here. Got a bunch of space figures here from all different teams, including Classic Space, Galaxy Squad, Alien Conquest, Insectoids, UFO, Spirius, Explorians, Ice Planet, Space Police 2, Unitron, Mtron, Blacktron, Blacktron 1, Blacktron 2, Mars Mission, Life on Mars, Space Police 3, Power Miners, a few Rock Raiders, Robo Force, Aqua Zone at the top. So lots of classic space figures. A couple built classic space sets, a couple certified complete classic space sets. <laughs> Grumpy Jay is singing peaches to himself in the chat. Peaches, 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 peachy peaches. Such a catchy song. 
Here's the cool Unitron set down there. That's pretty nice. There's some Lego City creeping in over there, too. I need the Flintstones, too. LOL. There you go. You need the Flintstones, to the movie, or are you looking for the Flintstones set as well? I think we should have a little bit of space up here. I'm not seeing it. There's a little Spyrus up here. A little bit of Paradisa. A little bit of Rock Raiders hiding over there, too, and Power Miners. Wasn't too long ago. I think we got a very nice Chrome Crusher set in. It wasn't this one, but it was another one, and it was also in really good shape. So might have to track it down. There's a little Space Place Three up here. I always loved this set as a kid. My friends had this set. I never did. One hundred twenty dollars for new sealed. That's pretty cool. We need a hundredth birthday sign in our city for Disney. There you go. That would be cool. The Ice Planet stuff had such a cool color scheme. Do you have any other sets or just the figs? Um, I think we pretty much just have the figures. We did have some small sets kind of floating around, but I don't see them now. Like, I think they've sold within the past few weeks. So We're a little low on classic space stuff in general. It might be a, a bit for we see some more traded in. So. The website shows one new inbox Flintstone set. Yeah, so if we needed the set from Flintstones, we would have it. Is the Mtron set new? That one back there is not new. It's going to be certified complete, but it's in good shape. And then we have a built one up here for $180. 20% off of that, of course, because we got the sale going on. Mark, don't tap the glass. What are you a three year old? <laughs> Guess what, Nexus? I'm going to tap the glass whenever I want to. Because I know the guy who cleans it. Thanks, Brad P. Absolutely. Castle. Oh, ca look. We, we got Castle right over here. So there's a few new additions to the Castle stuff. We've got uh, Magisto's Magical Workshop over here. 150 Very nice deal on that one. You got a couple of the other Dragon Masters sets here. We got the Royal Drawbridge. I think that's from Royal Knights as well. Mark's the new Friends Botanical Garden could be the new goat thoughts. Yeah, I really love that set, uh, House Life. I think that's one of the coolest, if not the coolest, friend sets to be released in a long time. I know a lot of people are saying, I think this is going to be my first friend set on Instagram. So I'm looking forward to it. I will probably get one at least. Yeah, there's a lot of sets I'm going to have to get. I know some of the Dream sets are really cool, too. I might have to buy them for those little mushroom people. They look so cool. But we'll be talking all about that tomorrow morning um, on 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So definitely tune in to our live stream. Then we'll be talking about for at least an hour, maybe more. Maybe like a two-hour stream. Tapping the glass scares the Lego. Oh, no. Well, I'll try not to tap the glass to not scare the Lego horses and Lego people in there. So. Alrighty, we just got a few minutes left. Any last minute requests to check out stuff in the store? Otherwise, I'll just kind of browse around, peruse what's cool. Like video. Who didn't like video? We got a bunch of them here, too. Got a unicorn figure. That's where that unicorn head came from. Ooh. Nexo. No, we're. Oh, fine. We can look at Nexo. All right. You guys got over 40 likes. You did a good job. We got through another Tuesday. We can look at next night's. That might be the first and last friend set I ever buy. There you go, Nexus. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yep, and Grumpy Jake got his wish. We're looking at next night's. Someone came in the other day and just wanted to buy a bunch of next night's. So they bought a bunch of cool next night sets and they were overjoyed. And I was shaking my head the whole time, trying to be very polite. But I know people like these, but they still drive me up the wall. <sighs> you know what? Actually, I might write a dissertation on, you know, the differences between next nights and dreams and point out why one is working and why one is not working. 
Next one, like for life. No, Woo! get it, get, get out of here, Garrett. No, no, no. Get go. Alrighty. Well, it is now four o'clock according to my watch, so I'm going to stroll over to the uh, laptop and hit the end stream button. But thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. And we'll be having a live stream again tomorrow morning at 9.30 here on Atlanta Brickco TV. we got all the leaks and rumors we'll be talking about tomorrow. I think it's going to be me, Daniel, maybe Chris or Joe. But thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.